What's up everybody, it's Bushybeard, your friend in the fog. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. A few weeks ago, I was watching one of my favorite Dead by Daylight content creators on YouTube by the name of Spooky Loop, and he had a video where he broke down the emblem system and how pips work and how to gain pips and how to double pip. And, and it was a great video. And at the end of it, he gave a build he recommended to help pip up. And I thought, hmm, I really would like to try this build out, which is what we have for you here today. If you would like to check out the Spooky Loop video, I will leave a link to it down in the below. Uh, make sure you click it, go check it out, give him a sub, watch the video, lots of good information in it. I'm gonna talk more about the build side of things than the pippin and de-pippin side of things. You can go check out that video if you more interested in that. But I found this build to be pretty damn good. The first thing we're taking in with this build is borrowed time, which as we know, when we unhook someone for 12 seconds after they're unhooked, they get the endurance status effect, which means if they get hit, they basically get a free hit, which guarantees us safe unhooks, which is a big part of pipping up. So we want to unhook people, we want to unhook them safely. The second perk we're taking in is Bond, which is a, an amazing, amazing perk. Um, I, I didn't give it enough credit till I tried it. It basically shows you everyone's aura with no restrictions as long as they're within 36 meters. You can get a lot of information with this perk. You know, if you need to be healed, if they need to be healed, if they're on a gen, if they're chasing the killer where to go if you're being chased by the killer just lots lots of good information speaking of gathering information what i would call the real star of this build and a perk i never thought twice about and i'm probably going to run in most of my builds now to be honest is detective's hunch it's a detective tap perk uh basically anytime you complete a generator or anyone completes a generator for 10 seconds you see all generators, chests, and totems within 64 meters, which is an insanely huge amount. It's so helpful. You can find totems, you can find chests, you can find your way to the next gen or two. You can literally, it's 10 seconds, it's a long time. You can look around and plan out pretty much your whole path that you're gonna take doing gens around the map. And then every time someone completes a gen, it, it goes off again. It's just so so useful and then the last perk we're taking in is iron will which as we know silences your grunts of pain if you're injured so if you're hiding from the killer running from the killer they don't have that audio cue to go off of which makes a very big difference you wouldn't think it would but it the audio makes such a huge difference so that's the build let's see it in action let's try it out let's see if we can get some pips over to the gameplay staring at somebody He's after you. He's still after you. He's broke the pallet, but he's still after you. Oh, thank God for technician. Did you climb through that window, buddy? Why can I see the generators outlined? Um, detective's punch. Every time a generator gets popped, you see oh, chests, totems, and generators. It doesn't have to be a generator I pop? No, any generator that gets popped. Well, shit, that's convenient. I'm on a hook. He got the boys. I'm moving towards you now. Yeah, I see. The other two are near here as well, though, so just be careful. Ha <laughs> ha beat you no mither, motherfucker. Run. Yep. Sorry. It's alright. It's alright, dude. <clears throat> you should be able to see him all again. Yeah, there's a totem right over there. I'm gonna go get it after I pop this gun. The detective's hunch is pretty tight. I've never really used it. Me neither. Hey, there's the hatch. Yep. 
I just did the gen next to the hatch. <laughs> it literally popped up in my face. I was like, okay. Right, I'm doing the furthest away door from where you were. Even though it's probably an awful idea, I'm gonna rescue these guys. Do you want me to fully open the door or just 99 it? Uh, where is it at? Um, next to the barn. Uh, he's eating off. Yeah, he's coming for me. Yeah, he must have the barbecues. Well, we're still all exposed. Yeah, he's been tier 3 for a very long time. Yeah, he's coming for me. I'm running around the barn. The door is 99. Oh, 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 yeah, but he threw down the pallet first, so Mikey knew we were there and what we were doing. Oh, David. Do you want heels, Fang? Ah, he's gonna hook me. I'm not gonna make it to the exit. here pick the david up i'm healing i'm halfway why am i doing this i should get out this is like i if i just walk out that i get to get i'm guaranteed a pip but i'm not leaving my yep. friend behind right he's coming he's going for the thing let's just yeet you yeet you get your you get your pip thing has got the david Go, 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 Oh, that went well. That wasn't a bad match. Especially with that tier three, Jesus. Not a lot of Tier three, I think my character is going to freeze, along with yours. Yeah. He's got a hex room as well. Why are they all running ruin? Who is it? No it. Ding ding ding. Oh, he's gone into this again. I need to stop running. Oh, he's still on my ass. You go down. Mm -hmm. Niggas can splat. He pick you up. Oh, I think he's after the Leon again. I should be able to heal you here if he's after Leon. No, he's here. No, ah! He's here. Go, I take hit. Ah! Ah, fucked up, boys. Holy crap. I am so glad I looked for them. Well, you tried, Leon. Good for you. Well, here comes Meg. Let's double heal. We should be I uh, Leon's still getting hooked over there. Oh my god, I just had a visual glitch. <laughs> the thing bong appeared right there. Oh He's not on as my trail. As well.
we shouldn't have had such a good first match. It's Jinxters. They're healing in the building. He's still giving chase to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, think... come on. He's gonna hit me and I'm gonna lurch, but I might be able to. This power's already gone. Next one for me. They're healing me under the hook. Ah, he expected that. Mistakes were made, boys. One stun, just four more to go. <laughs> Probably coming straight to this generator. I'm gonna. He's definitely got the barbecue. He's a very, he's a very good raid. He knows exactly when to invis and when to uncloak. Probably. Oh, now he is. Well, now. Yeah, I'm going for the end, though. I'm going to back where I told him. He's behind you. I think that's the bar time. Start that gen that you're heading towards, but it might have reversed by now. Yeah, it's regressed. Shit. I'm not gonna make it to Leon in time, am I? Sorry, Leon. I thought she was coming for you. It's probably gonna be where I go down. Yep, he's behind you again. Campy fuck. But you got protection here. Okay. Maybe he'll give me the hatch. With how campy he's being, I don't think so. He definitely had barbecue in exactly oh, where you me up. He's checking for it. It's okay. I succumbed to my fate. Oh my god. Give a little thank you, Wiggle. And I pipped again. I've also been doing something different I read about because like 
we seem to three gen ourselves a lot like because we all start and we go to the closest gens to us which leaves the other side yeah, the map also ghost face so i've been running to the other side the map straight away and starting on gens as far as possible from where we started yeah, you should always try and do the middle one and then work your way out, supposedly. Just walking to the left. Right, let me heal you. There's a chance he's coming this way, I can't guarantee it. Run over that way after I heal you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll make it before to his second stage, however. Uh, no, not Pfta! <laughs> Please do that name again. <laughs> Pfta! <laughs> oh, they got basement, but I am over here, so... I am so sorry. Ishira? Uh, right I'm there. Run. Uh, right there. To put her. I'm gonna try and run back and finish that Jenna. We were so close. But no, you wait until I'm on the hook, and then unhook me in front of him. Oh shit. Yeah, you man gamed me well, there goes face. Take your kill. I'm not good to wiggle. That was a bad game. Come here, Tfifta. I feel like he's coming. He's right there. He's kicking that chin. He's looking this way. He sees us run. Run, to Tfifta. Well, you in fact did not run. You are in oh, fact dead AF. Oh, I deep-hipped. Oh, that was a bad game. Waiting for you to finish. And spent it. <laughs> I got the hatch. Oh, yeah. And another pip. So there you have it, guys. The Spooky Loops pip build uh, worked pretty well. We definitely got some pips there. We got lucky with a few hatches. I don't know what was going on with these matches today, but it was a hatch kind of day, I guess. But uh, the build works great. I really like it. I suggest you guys toy around with it. You know, tailor it maybe to your needs. Try one, two, three of the perks. They're all really strong, powerful perks. See if you can fit them into your favorite build, maybe. I, I highly recommend checking them out. I also recommend that you guys go show Spooky Loop some love. Uh, the one who came up with this build and posted that amazing video that I'll link down below in the description. And if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, leave a comment, interact with the video any way you can. Helps this channel so much. Helps you know when I post new videos when I go live. So very much appreciated. That's going to be it for today, guys. And, uh, yeah. Two most important rules in life and in DVD. Be kind to one another and always have fun. This is Bushybeard. I'll see you next time.